Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming to you live from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii, which is way warmer than it is in D.C. Yes. And in Chicago, yes. where I'm from. And uh, this lovely person to my right is uh, Courtney Pop. Courtney is the Director of Education Programs for one of my favorite organizations, I Mason. Thank you so much for having me, Dean. Courtney, thank you for being here. We appreciate it very much. So I'm going to put this away because That's you awesome. and I are going to have a great conversation. Amazing. Um, and I don't, and we don't, we can just do this. Um, Sounds good. Courtney. Yes. Um, the Education Programs at I Mason. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the initiative and and why the initiative? So right now at PTC, we are thrilled to be able to announce our partnership with UC Berkeley. Yeah. We have been working so closely with Nicole Starosielski, who is an amazing, amazing professor who came to uh, to the school from the subsea cabling industry. And we've been working to work with her and build a curriculum for four courses that are going to be taught over the course of the summer of 2025 that will culminate in a certificate in digital infrastructure that's that's totally accredited by UC Berkeley that anybody around the world can take. So we're so, so thrilled to be able to do that and, and just really lucky to have had that partnership. So this isn't just about educating the general public. It's, this yeah. is a legitimate educational program that that is certified. Yes. UC Berkeley. Yes, that UC Berkeley is going to stamp that certificate um, and then hopefully that'll pave the way for us to make a legitimate bachelor's degree in digital infrastructure. <laughs> This is for real. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we're. I feel like I shouldn't say we. I'm just making sure that other people realize it. I feel like you're planting seed, these seeds of education for our industry, for for those those young people that might be considering a, a you know a pathway yes. in in digital infrastructure. Yes. Tell me about that. You're. I can tell you're as excited about this as I am. I really am. I'm such a nerd about this. So one of the things that I consider myself is a farmer. I mm -hmm. think that I do plant those seeds. So one of the other initiatives that we have uh, created in the last couple of years at iMasons is a partnership with Jason Learning. They're a, a global nonprofit. They have been in the STEM education space for 35 years. And so we've worked with them as well as with industry partners, Vertiv yeah. and Compass Data Centers, to build a K-12 STEM curriculum that is standards aligned and that is live to over 6 million users across the globe right now. Um, and it teaches students about the digital infrastructure industry and why it's so cool and why it matters. So we're going even earlier than college to really plan those seeds and get kids and their and their parents and their families interested in digital infrastructure from the get-go. Courtney, you make me want to be young again. I'm sorry. I know that sounds strange to be having that conversation. I love but it. But it makes me feel, I, I, it, no, number one, it makes me feel, uh, I don't want to say old, experienced. Yes. It makes me feel experienced yes. because I know what it's like to be in this industry. I've been in it for well over 20 years. Yes. And I know that we are at a watershed moment yes. right now within the industry. And I also know how important it is to get those young, those young brains into the industry. Yes. Yes. And it's more than just wanting to grow that talent, which of course we want to do. Yeah. But I think that it's also about the public perception of our industry. I think that there are some really negative preconceptions about data centers, about digital Preach. infrastructure. Yes. And I think that by showing students the ways that we are impacting their communities, the way that we're impacting their economies, the way that we're impacting their education, yeah. we can show them how important this industry is both now and moving forward into the future oh gosh, and that they Gordon, can be a part yes. of it. Yeah, it's 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 such an interesting play too because when we talk about on the education side, um, our industry quite literally is touching every other. It's not just touching; it's foundational yes. to the advancement of every, every other industry. One. And so it doesn't matter if if, if you want to be a doctor. Yep. Being being a doctor is going to mean being someone who is versed in AI. Yes. Understands how it's used, where where yes. it's used, um, how to use it better, yes. differently, more yes. innovative. That's the that's the key, the sweet spot, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. And I think that it really what what we're trying to do at events like this, yeah. and at events like some of the other events that we ha see all over the industry, is to show people the extent of the networks that we have. Yeah. So it's not just digital infrastructure in and of itself, but we do, like you said, we yeah. are foundational to every other yeah. every other sector, every other scope, every other job, every other person. 
you all are doing the good work over there. We're trying, man, man. It is, it is so, it is so comforting to me as somebody who, again, who has been in the industry a long time to know that an organization like I Masons exists yes. and that you are targeting those people, those people to bring them to, to the, the, to the one place that is going to help kind of advance civilization yes. in a lot of ways. Yes. Yeah. And I think that one of the things that we really love to give back in iMasons is to give back to some of those disadvantaged communities. Yes. So all of the programs that we have really have a focus on reaching out to communities that historically have been affected by the digital divide. So we're working with HBCUs through our capstone program. Yeah. Um, we're working in Africa to deliver scholarships to make sure that students there are able to access both technology and education to move into the burgeoning data, digital infrastructure space in Africa yeah. and really to just create more of a global network of people who, who can talk to each other and learn from each other. Yeah. I want to spend another three hours discussing this. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, that that's our time. Courtney, okay. thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It was really great. Yeah, no, it was great for me too. Good. Um, and thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, um, stay awesome like Courtney, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.